All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Roman numerals and how to figure out what the Roman numeral is. So if the rules are up here. Um, if we run out of space, I'll just go ahead and get rid of them. So you can always go ahead and pause it, rewind it, go back and write them down if you like. Um, but these are just the values, or these are the rules that you should follow when you're figuring out Roman numerals. So the first one, it's going to be when a letter repeats, the value repeats. So for example, if you have I, 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 that's going to equal to 3. Or X, 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 that's going to equal to 30. On the right, I showed what each letter value is. So I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. So if you need to memorize those and you don't know them, it's always good to make flashcards to really work on them and memorize them. Um, so that's going to be the first rule. The second rule is a letter is never repeated more than three times. I'll say it again. A letter is never repeated more than three times. So you're not going to have I, 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 and that's not going to equal four. It does not equal four. Or X, 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 X does not equal 40. Okay, so there's different ways of doing that that we'll go over, um, but just remember that a letter value is never repeated more than three times. Now when a smaller number is in front of a larger number, you subtract. So for example, if i is in front of x, that's going to be 1, 1, subtract 9. And don't worry about the negative values, it's just going to be an absolute value, so, oops, sorry, 1 minus 10. So 1 minus 10, and that's going to equal 9. And so again, values don't matter, or negative values don't matter, just make everything positive. Um, another example of this can be maybe i and v. So the i is in front of the larger number, so 1 minus 5 that's going to equal 4. Um, another one might be C, D, and that's going to be 100 minus 500, and so C, D is actually going to be the value 400. So, and it's just the opposite if the smaller number is in front of the larger number. So if you have, if you have V, I, you're going to add them together. So 5, plus 1 is equal to 6. If you do xi, that's going to be 10 plus, plus 1 equals 11. Um, let's try L, X, and X. What do you think that is going to be? Go ahead and pause it if you need to figure it out right now. But L, X, X is going to be 50 plus 10 plus 10 and that's going to equal 70. So there's always good ways to remember these and practice them. Um, or it's always good to remember those. Let's go ahead and go on to the next one. So the next one is never subtract more than one value from a greater numeral value at a time. So you're not going to have i, i, x, and that does not equal 8. But remember, it's going to be more than three times, and so you could just go ahead and do V, I, 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 and that will equal eight, but you cannot subtract more than two, more than one value at the same time. It just doesn't work that way. Um, values that are never subtracted from greater numbers are going to be V, D, and L. And that's because if you have V, and V is five, but if you have V subtract, oops, if you have V, X, that's going to be 5 subtract 10, but that value is going to be 5 anyway, so you would never have that. You would have 5, or you would just have V. So just remember that V, D, and L are never subtracted from each other. And so Let's, I'm going to go ahead and write out a few practice problems for these Roman numerals. Um, and you can go ahead and 
stop and practice them. After I write them down, you can just stop the video and practice them, and it will be very helpful. All right, so we have x and c equals, and we'll have xii equals cclxx mdcxii and then cxx. So go ahead and stop the video now and go ahead and try to do these yourself and I'll just go ahead and write the answers down. All right, so you have the smaller value that's in front of the larger value, so you're still going to subtract them. So you're going to have 10, subtract 100, and this is going to equal 90. For x, you have the ii afterwards, so that's going to be addition. So you're going to have 10 plus 1 plus 1, that's going to give you 12. cclxx, you're going to have 100 plus another 100 plus 50, plus 10, plus another 10, and that's going to give you 270. Now MDCXII is a little more challenging just because it has to deal with larger numbers. That's going to be 1,000, plus 500, plus 100, plus 10, plus 1, plus 1, and that's going to give you 1,612. CXX is going to be 100 plus 10 plus 10, and that'll give you 120. And that's how you're going to do the Roman numerals. So go ahead and practice. Um, I'm sure you can find some good ones online. I'll go ahead and post some links underneath for practice. And good luck.